Now, that was from Parliament. And so on this issue, the Member of Parliament for Odododio constituency at Wanil and Tivandapoi has described the letter from the presidency requesting Parliament to refrain from sending the anti-LGBTQ bill to the Jubilee House as one full of arrogance and disrespect towards the Legislative House. This government have shown that apart from the presidency, no other arm of government is important or worth their respect and, let me say, uh, dignifying. Um, this is not the first letter that has been written in a very shabby, disrespectful and arrogant manner towards the legislature. Um, but this one has come to the end. And what I see is that the Akufuado government and the presidency are really hurt by the passing of this particular bill. And in spite of all the attempts they made to frustrate parliament from passing it, parliament has passed it, and the onus of responsibility in it to becoming a law is now on the presidency. And the presidency, instead of using tact and diplomacy, what we call a sensible and intelligent way of negotiation and building harmony in governance and in corporate development. They have decided to use what we call in our local parlance Takashi. They want to use Buga Buga, they want to use, you know, power. Uh, some politicians will describe it as absolute power. But one thing they must also understand that absolute power corrupts.